My name is Leo Reisick and I'm with Amazing Business Results. I've been doing CRM and system implementations for the past 30 years and today we are going to talk about how to create and implement a new Zoho Creator implementations that will be a low code implementation. We are going to have about 8 videos in this series and the first one will be identifying business needs. Over the next few videos, we are going to talk about specific issues that will prevent you from being successful implementing a ZO project implementation. About 90% of the people that will come to us with a ZO project implementation will be in the failure zone. And we identified all the reasons why those applications will fail. And if you will follow this series of videos, not trying to sell you anything, if you will follow those series of videos, you will be able to implement the project by yourself or maybe with the help of a vendor, it's up to you, but you will be able to have a successful implementation. Let's begin with identifying business needs. So first of all, if you don't have a very specific business need that you need to fulfill, this project is going to fail. Sometimes there are small diamonds that we are chasing along the way. Those are the shiny diamonds and they will divert us from where we are going as a business. It's super important that the software that you are going to create is going to be part of the way you want to conduct your business and part of the business goals. Super, super important. So first of all, you, we need to understand what are the business needs that the application is supposed to fill. For example, let's assume that I will have vendors that's supposed to work with me. Every time that the vendor is working with my company, I would like the vendors to be able to log into a portal. The portal will be secure with username and password. And whenever they are doing the work for me, they need to fill some kind of a form that is, is related to their specific job. So if someone, a vendor, is installing Windows for me, they will need to fill a specific form that is matching the needs of installing a window. And when they will have a different function, such as installing a door, they will have different type of requirements. For example, taking a picture of the door that they installed, writing the measurements, asking the customer if he's happy with the service, check mark that they received full payment, maybe the payment reference number, and so on. So this is my business need. If I don't know exactly in details the business needs, and obviously I'm not talking about the development part. The development is completely not even in question. The, the development is the easiest part in, in my world. In my world, the most difficult part is actually to identify the business needs and how to connect them to the development platform. Maybe the idea is amazing, but the target platform is not great. And then we need to find a different one. But first of all, identify your business needs. The platform that you are going to code on or to use low code, that's just the tool. And the tool is really irrelevant in this scenario. So first of all, identify the needs. Identify if the application that you're trying to create is actually matching your business path, the business direction. If I am going to create a portal using Zoho Creator that will serve my vendors, is it part of what I set as a plan for my, my business? As an example, let's assume that I'm trying to acquire another thousand clients this year. If me creating a portal for my vendors to serve clients in an easy way 
Is that part of the path? Is that part of my business goals for 2020? Four, five. If yes, awesome. If not, and it's diverting me from my plan, probably it's a good thing to have, but not right now. The last thing that I want to talk to you about is how to evaluate if the application that you created is actually a good thing. It was a success. If you will set the criteria in the right way, from the beginning you're setting yourself to have a successful project. As an example, if we keep the same example, if my vendors will be able to receive their installations over a portal in an easy and organized way, and they will be able to click on a button to accept the job and receive reminders so they won't forget, because usually they do, and they will be able to report when they are taking the job and report that they actually got paid, and I will get all this information back to my CRM, that will be a success for my side. And if all that will happen, then I know that the business goals and the business requirements actually met and I can go back to my CEO and, says, and say that this was a successful implementation. In the next video, we'll continue to more items on how to plan it properly. Take your time, write down all the items that you're supposed to have for your project. And I will see you in the next video.